Again today, y'all might hear me say that every single Sunday I am up here. Uh, every Sunday is great to be with God's people. Whatever you had going on this morning, whatever you had going on this past week, this is the time that we come together. You can take a breath, you can relax, you can unwind, and just focus on that which is most important that is the Lord God Almighty and Jesus Christ. All right, it's a great day. You may have noticed that I don't have a table in front of me today. I'm not a big table guy when it comes to preaching, so we're trying out some different stuff. So we got we dug this out of the back somewhere, and uh, we might try this a little bit. If we need to try something else, we may see a few different things till we get it right. Um, I read an article this week, and the name of the article was What Really Happens When an Astronaut Floats Off in Space. And I, I'll, I'll spoiler on there in case you don't get to this one. It's terrifying. Um, there's, NASA only has like two things they try, and then if those things don't work, they're just kind of like, see ya. <laughs> and what happens to you is either you get grabbed by Earth's gravity, and as you can get into the atmosphere, you just run <laughs> or you continue to float out in space, maybe orbiting the Earth for about seven and a half hours until your oxygen supply slowly dwindles and you suffocate to death. Welcome to First Baptist Woodbridge. <laughs> guest with us this morning. <laughs> glad to have you. Um, <clears throat> the good news is that's never happened. So they've got these guys that work on this kind of thing to make sure you know everything's okay. They're called rocket scientists. They're pretty smart and they came up with this idea. How can we keep people from floating away from the space shuttle from the mothership? Mm. And the answer is, well, let's just tie them to it. Let's just tether them to the ship. That way they won't float off. And it's been incredibly successful since then. And I'm glad it has because it's given me a great illustration for my sermon today. You see, we live in a world that is full of philosophies and human traditions and elemental spirits and people who intentionally or unintentionally would love to see you float away from the truth. <coughs> And if you think it's terrifying, the idea of floating out into space for seven and a half hours while your oxygen supply runs out, imagine floating away from the truth of God for all eternity. It's a horror beyond horror. And not just that, living in this life, floating away from God's truth, from the mothership of God's kingdom, is terrible. It's terrible. And so what you and I need is the same thing that those astronauts need. Right? We need a tether and thank God that God is smarter than the rocket scientists. And he has given us an anchor, a steadfast anchor of our soul. We have a tether that keeps us attached to the mothership no matter what. You know who it is? That's right, Jesus Christ. And that's what we're looking at today in our today's, in today's passage. So no matter what's going on in your life, church, no matter how much things should be pushed and pulled around you, even, you know, we talk about the negatives, we talk about difficulties you may be going through, but the, the, the successes that you may go, go through, the joys you may go through, that if you would remain in Christ, then you will constantly and forever be tethered to the truth of God, never be separated. Right, the tethers that, that NASA, NASA has, they're made, they're made of steel and space age materials that can withstand thousands and thousands of pounds of force, but the tether that God has given you in Christ can withstand the weight of eternity and all the sin of mankind without ever truly breaking. It will keep you satisfied and uh, complete in the Lord God forever. That's something to celebrate. 